So in this video today guys, I'm going to showcase and test to see if setting up custom launch options in the Epic Games Launcher can actually improve FPS and reduce ping in Fortnite. As over the years of playing the game, I've obviously heard a lot about these command line arguments, but I've never actually tested them out or explained even what they do. So that's what we're going to do in this video today. After looking into all these commands and testing out a few of them, what I'll do is I'll let you guys know at the end of the video if they're worth using or not. So if this video does help out feel free to drop a like on it drop a sub on the channel and use code life in the item shop now let's go ahead and get started on this video so first things first guys what we're going to do is we're going to need to find a bunch of command line arguments to use in fortnite to find them what i've done is i've went over to the official unreal engine documentation website as you can see right here and if we have a little scroll down you can see already there's a ton of different command lines to choose from but what i'll do now guys is i'll have a look through all of these and i'll try and pick out a few that I think will be beneficial to Fortnite in itself as a lot of these are like related to the actual Epic Games launcher and stuff like that and other games I think so I'm just going to find out the best ones for Fortnite and come back. Alright so I'm back and I've picked out a total of four that I think are beneficial and are some that I've actually heard about from the past and I'm sure some of you guys will remember some of them. I remember two for using one of them specifically but if I actually read them out guys the first one we've got is land play. This is one that I remember two for using like ages ago. This apparently tells the engine to not cap client bandwidth when connecting to servers so to me that sounds like it's not going to add any sort of bandwidth cap which should help with download speeds for obviously when you're downloading fortnite or any other games so that sounds really beneficial the second command line that i've found is no splash this disables the use of a splash image when loading the game and to me this sounds really good as it should make fortnite load up faster as it's essentially removing the splash image which when it loads up it'll show the splash image then it'll load the game this is basically removing that image so you literally load directly into the game so this one sounds really good i'm excited to test this one out and then for the third one guys we've got no texture streaming and i'm not really sure about this one apparently it disables texture streaming but i'm not exactly sure what that means i assume that it will help with fps but we'll just have to wait and see and for the fourth and final command line guys i've got use all available cores as you can see right there and this apparently forces the use of all available cores on a target platform which sounds good because we want to use all the cores on our cpu and i assume that this will help with fps but i'm not sure we will just have to wait and see moving on though guys as you can see in my notepad right here i've got all of the commands like sort of written out with a space in between them and all capitalized as they are on the documentation website and as you can see i've got them all right here just ready to be copied and pasted into the epic games launcher options which to access this guys all you've got to do is go onto your desktop if i just uh, minimize that right there if you go into the epic games launcher just like this and then once it's loaded up click at the top right corner where your profile is and then go settings inside of a settings tab guys if you scroll down you should see a fortnite drop down tab just go ahead give that a click and then you should see another setting that says additional command line arguments tick box just tick that and then you should get a box appear and this is where we can copy and paste in our command line so there's land play no splash no texture streaming and use all available calls just go ahead copy and paste it in like that and now we should be good to go to test out to see if these command line arguments even do anything so let's go ahead guys close this down open up fortnite and i'll report back to see what the results are okay guys so after testing for a while in creative and as well in the main battle royale game mode the results that i found from testing out all of these different command line arguments has honestly been a little bit underwhelming like i haven't really seen any change or any significant change maybe a little change in fps like it might went up five or down five i couldn't really like tell specifically but overall guys there seems to be nothing that has changed apart from honestly the load speed that fortnite takes to actually boot up i did notice an increase in that and i assume that's because of the no splash option which i think i'm definitely going to keep on as this literally does make my game load in faster i've noticed that for sure but apart from that it seems like the other options haven't really made a difference at all at least on my pc now i will say the results could differ on your pc so feel free to test these out if you want for yourselves but from my testing guys honestly i could only see a difference in the no splash option the rest were really underwhelming but guys i thought i'd record this video and share my experience with you yes it wasn't really the best i wish there was more and i wish i got an fps boost and i wish my ping got better as well but again there was no sort of differences now i didn't test the download speeds they may improve um, or i assume they would but i didn't really have time in this video today guys to actually uninstall fortnite and reinstall it to see if the um, install or update time got improved in any way but i 
kind of assume that it will, but I'm not really sure if it's worth putting them on. But guys, hope these results were interesting and feel free again to try them out for yourselves and let me know your results in the comment section below. That's all I've got for this video today, guys. If it helped out, feel free to drop a like on the video, drop a sub on the channel and use code life in the Fortnite item shop. On top of that as well, you can check out my website, gamesentence.com to find out what the best pros are using to play Fortnite, CSGO and Valorant. I'll leave a link in the description below. Catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.